Hello, we're going to discuss development kit from Genic, how it can be used in your application, and why it is a good fit for doing wireless designs. When you get your development kit, it comes with everything you need to get started doing wireless design. You get three antennas. You get a whole collection of modules which can plug on and off. They're mounted to what we call a mezzanine board so that they can pop easily on and off your development board. You get USB cables that can be used for programming or data logging. You get enough batteries to power the whole system, 10 batteries for all your boards. The actual board you get uh, is an LCD board that's usually made as a coordinator through software, but it can be used as a router or endpoint. The difference between that and the four sensor boards you have is it has an LCD the sensor boards do not electrically, schematically, everything else is identical on those boards. You can run any software stack on this development kit, whether it's 15.4, GenNet, RF4CE, or ZigBee Pro. If you had a previous kit, you can add on through an upgrade kit to a 5148 device, mezzanine boards, um, micro FL to SMA adapters are provided. It also is a way for you to get additional modules for your kit if that's what you would like. You wouldn't have to buy the whole kit. The software CD-ROM is not included because it is always constantly being updated for the kit and so the best place to get it is off of the website. This PDF file presentation which you probably have in your possession, if you follow the little purple clicks, it says click for links. If you click on any of those you'll go directly to the user guides and be able to download the software by hyperlinking anywhere on these pages where you see the clicks. So you can get, the again, the user manuals and all the software tools directly off of the website for Genic. One of the things we recommend for customers is that you go ahead and steal designs from our development kit. That's the easiest, best way to get started. Take designs from us for RFID, UR, wireless UART, uh, and copy it into your design. That's the best way to get started, easiest way to do it. Project files and everything is provided. The development kit shows really the full power of the Genic processor in this application. The processor that's on the module under the metal shield is running not only the user application, but it's powering the LCD. It's mapping out graphical fonts, uh, doing everything that you need. So make sure you use the full power of the processor, and the development kit uh, allows you to do that. One of the first applications a customer should consider is using a packet error rate test. That shows you how much range you get in your actual uh, application, how far it will work. You want to compare the RF signal strength, which is shown in a bar graph, and also the packet error rate. It's possible that you have a link that has excellent RF characteristics, but the error rate is too high for your application. So you want to look at both of those, and that software that runs on the development kit as a packet error rate tester, and you can data log that data as well uh, by using a hyperterminal type of application. Another thing you can do is data log what your RF environment looks like by storing what the clear channel authentication is for each of the channels that you ran. That can be data logged. You can use the received signal strength to give you a range finding that would allow you to see how far away your nodes are. You can practice that with the kit as well. In this particular case, there is a binning application. The more LEDs, the stronger the signal strength is, and that would tell you how far away the object is. As I mentioned, the USB cable can be used not only for programming the devices, but also data logging. In this case, the LCD board is capturing data from a wide variety of modules going through routers or directly to the unit. And it allows you to store that data to check future performance to see whether it was good enough for your application or what has changed. It stores the MAC ID, how many retries, the threshold levels are all programmable. All of that data can be stored. For site survey tools, besides the basic channel spectrum analysis, Genic has now released Wireshark. Wireshark is a uh, open domain tool that you can use for sniffing out packets. You would run it on our development board, and it would allow you to sniff out packets for 15.4, ZigBee Pro, and other type of wireless communications. LED indicators are used on it. Again, you can click on all the application notes and download the code for you. It is available for, again, packet sniffing, network discovery, site survey tools. All of those are available. The Wireshark is there as well. The development board can also run audio applications. That is provided in a separate presentation. 
However, note that that same development board you purchased, you can now use to do audio. We choose to add on an external audio board to give you better performance. You may elect to just run the onboard A2D converter if you don't need tone quality audio. If all you were interested in was walkie-talkie type of audio, you could certainly run that directly off of your microcontroller. The add-on board uses an external codec A2D DDA converter so that you could input a microphone and a a simple microphone and a speaker to test out the system. The add-on system boards, again, give you full hardware software reference design and give you a couple boards to plug onto the system. And that's available for $300. You can add wireless keyboards. That's another application you could download from our website. Uh, lots of different applications you can run on this kit. So it's very useful for development. Home sensor network is probably the one that people are most familiar with, and it comes programmed on the board. It allows you to change channels on the 15.4 layer, display data both for one sensor, which would be light, temperature, and humidity at one node, or display all the light sensors, all the temperature sensors. One of the beauties of Genic is that we are stack agnostic. We support a wide variety of stacks. You can take that home sensor network and run it on any one of our software stacks to see how they work. The user experience or the LCD is the same, but you can see the self-healing architecture working on the sensor boards by spreading them apart and so forth. And all you have to do is click on these drums or software stacks and you would get that application note for that particular stack. Wireless UART or cable replacement is very popular with Genic. Some of the features and benefits are identified here, especially low power, easy to connect, self-healing network, does not have to be point-to-point -point communication. All the data is sent over a wireless network. It's very easy to configure and add things in the future. Uh, that is one of the benefits of using our technology. Uh, one particular application that we have is that you can have an existing microcontroller in your system. It toggles, receive, and transmit, wakes up the Genic. Genic take takes care of routing your wireless message. All you're concerned about is keeping your application code the same. Here's a selection chart and a variety of application notes that are published on the web. The ones that are do not have a number, just contact me, I can get it for you. Zigbee Pro Wireless UART also exists, so you can run it for that software stack. The important thing is the self-healing tree network for GenNet or Zigbee Pro. We take care of the wireless communications for you. You worry about your embedded code. RFID that's covered in a separate presentation. You can run it on the development kit. The boards can act as routers, readers. The boards can also act as simple tags. Uh, so again, you can practice that whole demonstration. Lighting that's covered in a separate presentation. Again, the development board will work in your application. The light sensor will act like it would in a light pole. Uh, boards can act as coordinators and as light poles sense the ambient light, determine when the light turns on. Uh, the GUI software all runs, so you can turn on light fixtures on and off by clicking on the Java code, uh, and you can get network feedback. Another popular application is direct driving of LCDs. We have a board you can plug on and drive an LCD to show you that you can replace a two-digit seven-segment display easily using the power of the processor. TCP IP stack is available, and what that can do is capture data off of the GenNet network, and that runs on the development boards. It's covered again in a separate presentation on the TCP IP gateway. Remote control is a growing application. We have that available for uh, industry standard RF4CE stacks run on several processors, as well as ones that are just 15.4 stack. In summary, Genic wants to be your source for wireless designs. We provide expert technical support on chips, modules, software stacks, anything that you need. We get you to market quickly. We have reference designs. Feel free to f steal them and borrow them in your designs. And it's for a wide variety of market applications. If you're in any one of these, we can certainly help you out. We have the right solution for you.